Welcome to my video. I'm going to show you um, an example of what pitch correction does. Now pitch correction is very known for um, adding the auto-tune effect on vocals commonly. So um, I will show you what it does. So I did a recording of myself. Um, it wasn't, it's not good. That's because, you know, um, I, I was actually I didn't put any effort in whatsoever, very weak effort, which is why the vocals do not sound good here. I wasn't trying to sound good. So anyway, um, Ooh, you're making me laugh. I want to make this sound auto-tune, so um, let's just take out the l low frequency so that you know the auto tune is more significant because the thinner the the more treble the sound is on vo on the vocals the the um, more significant the auto tune is um for 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 me and for for me at least it is so now the key that i'm singing in is sounds like a c so i will basically and but i will basically say c c major so the if it's a c major if it's any major scales you you, know, you just select major scale and then select what key it is so anyway anyway so i you bring the response down so that the auto tune is more sharp and more noticeable so let's see what this sounds like Ooh, you're making me you're making me laugh. So, um, you auto tune is meant to tune your vocals. However, um, let's. I should have done this before. If we put on pitch correction, uh, yes, let's turn on flex and um, see where that is. Um, so anyway, wherever that is, just do Command A and that will highlight everything and just do pitch correction, bring that up and that should correct all the pitches. So let's see what that sounds Ooh, like. You're making me laugh. Okay, so the last part is still out of tune. Let's bring that more in tune. There we go. Let's make that more into C and let's um just make that unvaried so that there's a clear note. Ooh, you're making me laugh. Yeah, Ooh, now now we can hear that the la that the last one is more in tune now. Um, let's go back to pitch correction. Now, it is it is useful when you you're able to get the keys right. However, if you don't know what key signature it is, just go on chromatic and you know. Uh, that that shouldn't be You're making me laugh. but it's more useful if you do know what the key signature is so uh, let's say a major scale and let's say let's say if we don't know the key signature that can, that can be impactful if you select another one because it can make the tune sound different so let's say um a sharp Ooh, you're making me laugh. um no that's not too bad Let's do. Ooh, you're making me laugh. Ooh, you're making Can you hear the the starting point sounds out of tune? You know, instead of going ooh, you know, he's going ooh. Ooh, you're making me laugh. And uh, yeah, just um, just make sure the vibratos are probably unvaried. Make sure they're unvaried so that you know we can hear the tune clearly. Whereas most of the time, it's it's. You know, it, you know the lines are very, you know, um, they're 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 quite jumbled up. So, well, this is what it would sound like now. Ooh, you're making me laugh. <laughs> so, um, no, just just make sure that you know the sig that you know the key for this, and um, you know everything should be fine. Ooh, you're making me laugh. So that so that's an example of auto tune, and uh, yeah, um, thank you for watching my video.